Hello. I'm Jack, and I'm a regular guy with a slightly unusual story. There has been a change in my life lately that I would like to tell you about. I was an absolutely normal kid. My life was no different from any others. School, friends, sports, hobbies. Then, something bad happened to me, and I was sure that my life was over. What could it be, you wonder? I lost nearly all of my right arm in an absolutely idiotic way. My dad was mowing the grass. I was passing by, stumbled over something, and fell right under the lawnmower as it was passing by. I don't remember much because I was in shock of pain. There was a lot of screaming. I'm not sure if it was mine or dad's, and lots of dark red blood like in a splatter movie. Then darkness came. I woke up in the hospital still in lots of pain, but this time it was bearable. I saw my parents sitting by my side, mom crying, and dad pale as hell. That is when I found out that my arm had literally been shredded and the doctors didn't manage to save it. I didn't realize at the time what it brought to me and was just glad to be alive. The understanding came a bit later. As they kept me in the hospital, I understood that I could literally do nothing. As I am a right-hander, and as I was very weak, I didn't manage to coordinate with my left hand. But soon I got a rehab doc. She said it was normal, and that I would soon adapt, especially if I follow the adaptation program. She also said that after some time, I would get a prosthetic arm that would make me look normal. I started to train at the hospital and continued at home. Of course, I was away from school for some time, and obviously I had to forget about sports and guitar playing I like so much. Worst thing was that I didn't adapt after all. I couldn't do anything with my left arm, write or dress myself, or even eat with a spoon. I was trying my best, but I felt like an ultimate creep, as the situation didn't improve. So I started falling in a black depression, just gave up at some point and was just sitting in my room all day long watching TV because it didn't engage arm. My parents had to talk to my doc and she said that I needed to go back to school to get some social life. I couldn't get my fake arm though. It was too early. I was afraid to go back to my friends, handicapped. Who knows how they'd take it. It was all right after all, even though I couldn't do all the same things I used to together with them. Also due to the fact that my left hand was still useless. I needed to ask for their help all the time. This was pathetic. Even worse was the fact that during my absence, a new girl came to school that I really, really liked when I saw her. I tried to get out from my shell and ask her out once. If I had been healthy, I maybe could have chances. But now she just looked at me with sympathy, grinned and answered. You know, Jack, I think it's not the case. Well, you understand and just left me standing there like a complete idiot. It didn't make me feel much better. And all in all, it was a super down moment of my life. I was just so passively trying to get accustomed to my new condition. Also, time came for a prosthetic arm to be installed, but as far as I was still unable to be operational using my left hand, it was of little comfort. I was reading about those bionic arms that naturally substitute a missing arm with all of its movements. One of these would be a perfect solution in my case, but my family isn't very rich. And if I tried very hard, I would be able to buy it in many years. So this was just a dream and I put it off. I will have to adapt to what I have now. At least I'm alive, I repeated. A couple of days before I was supposed to order my fake arm, I came home from school and found a surprise party for me. With all my relatives, friends, and even neighbors. I didn't understand a thing. My B-Day was in four months. When they explained to me, I just sat down astonished and couldn't say a word. I couldn't believe it. My family raised the money from everyone who knew me. And I would be getting a new bionic arm. I will become a cyborg. For God's sake, that day was definitely the happiest in my life. I couldn't stop thanking God, universe, or whoever else for all of those people who surround me. When I came to school with my new bionic arm, 
I became a star at once. I had already trained myself pretty well and was able to do the finest movements with it. I was surrounded by my schoolmates who were just asking me to show another time how it works. Each of them had donated his pocket money to make me happy. I got a new nickname that was the Terminator. Cool, isn't it? As a cherry on the cake, there came that girl that I had liked so much, who asked me, is your proposal still valid? Would you like to go out and show me how this thing works? I'm a proud person, and that is why my answer was, I think that's not the case. Well, you understand. Now as a Terminator, I know that there is no sense to give up, as far as you have people around you who wish you happy. And to those who like you only when you're cool, I can say only, hasta la vista, baby. It was a traumatic experience, and I'm glad that I could share it with you. If you also have a story that will give hope to someone, please share it in the comments. Please like and share my story. It is very important to me.